Uh, today is Saturday. It's July the 27th, 2015. That's the Constitution, and that's an angel for all the dead people here that's been dying by police brutality. That's an angel, and the Constitution is supposed to protect us. This is artistic expression at the Creative Alliance. This is Danielle Clayton's Queen's contribution to the art world, her artistic form of political protest and getting a message out. So what do you got to say, Queen? Tell them people about this toilet. Well, the toilet is authentic and being shitted on, so we need to expose the shit. Uh, my toilet represents many messages. Um, one that I'm honing in on is the message of police brutality and murders by police in the city of Baltimore. Uh, there was one woman who asked me what did the teddy bear represent and I had to let her know that it's an angel and the angel represents all of our lost souls that have died in the streets and that continue to die in the streets. We cannot bring them back. We cannot get these mothers' children back. You know, there's many other messages here. Um, as you see, there's, um, you know, just words of things that we need, things that we're denied. Um, you know, it's not about entitlement, it's about survival. You know, a lot of people think that um, the needy are always needy. But if you give them resources, they can, you know, uh, be self-sufficient. There's also a message about um, human trafficking being modern-day slavery. And there's, there's also a message about the Baltimore City Sheriff's Department, Social Security, the experimentation that goes on at Johns Hopkins Hospital, which I was definitely a product of, still suffering behind that. That's another story. Can you tell the difference? The difference in what's being done with the battle of our lost children? Why, Marilyn? What's the answer? How did, this, children. How did this make you feel? It just made me feel like I'm vomiting a lot of emotion that needed to come out. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to share this um, message, these messages. You know, where's our confidentiality? Where are our resources? Word of, my, word of mouth can tell you more about the mission statements of these programs that are supposed to help, supposed to come to aid, you know, in our need, to help us be better people, to help us be self-sufficient. And also, there's a message of, don't turn your back on another issue. Let's have the talk. Are we family or not? Everyone knows who this is, Harriet Tubman. I freed a thousand slaves and could have freed a thousand more if they only knew they were slaves. Virtual this, virtual that. What happened to real? Let's build families. Help children cope with divorce. No stress. Save yourself. So this you save yourself and save others. So this Stop toilet is filled to with messages, correct? Yes. So Stop tell the people. To us up with the cherry on top. A moment for you to think about. The content warning. There's another side to the story to know. So tune in. Tales from the trenches. This is Tales from the Trenches. You're going to see a lot of toilets around Baltimore. We're going to start putting our messages on toilets. We're going to start getting our, our issues put on these toilets. You're going to stop treating us like shit. Because I'm going to start treating you like shit. It's our First Amendment Constitution rights, freedom of speech. And Governor O'Malley is tied to this. He's tied to this. It's about our kids and our future. 
Don't flush it down the drain. Police brutality equals a dead man walking in Baltimore. And Governor O'Malley created this situation, so he's tied to these toilets. Thank you. You a member of the Creative Alliance? Yes. You are officially an artist. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.